Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, troubleshooting intro VLAN routing. Here we can see uh, a tracing table and uh, we will go to the objectives. In part 1, locate network problems. In part 2, implement the solution. And in part 3, verify network connectivity. We will uh, go through the scenario. In this activity, we will uh, troubleshoot connectivity problems caused by improper configurations related to VLANs and inter-VLAN routing. Now we will come to uh, part 1. Locate the network problems. Examine the network and locate the source of any connectivity issues. Test connectivity and use the necessary show commands on to verify configurations. List all of the problems and possible solutions in the documentation table. So here they are given the sample documentation table. Uh, we have to list out the problems and the solutions. First of all, we will check the IP address on uh, uh, both de uh, end devices uh, PC1 and PC3. Here we can see this uh, PC1 is on a VLAN 10 and PC3 on a VLAN 30. First of all, we will check the IP address on PC1 desktop. We will check on IP configuration. Yes, so we will match with our addressing table. Right. So here is our address. PC1 172.17.10.10. It's, it's correct. And here we can see the subnet mask. Yes, it's correct. The default gateway is 172.17.10.1. Yes, it's correct. Now we will come to PC3, right? We will verify the IP address. So usually we have to go through command prompt uh, or here we have the option IP configuration. Uh, but always in real time we have to use uh, command prompt. So here we give IP config and here we can see the details. So the IP address is 172.17.30.10. Here we can see that it's correct and the submit to mask. Yes, it's correct and default gateway here we can see 172.17.10.1 but it should be 30 dot. Here we can see that. Yes. So here uh, in this uh, PC3 they assign the default gateway incorrectly. So we must change this uh, IP. Uh, I mean this default gateway on PC3. Here we are going to document our problems and here is our first problem. PC3 is configured with the wrong default gateway address. So the solution is we must change the default gateway on PC uh, from 10.1 to 30.1. Yes. Now we will come to the switch S1 and we will verify the configurations. Right. So. Okay. Show VLAN brief and here we can see the VLAN details. So here we can see the VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So this VLAN 10 uh, is assigned to the port fast Thunder 0 slash 11. And uh, uh, this fast Thunder 0 slash 6 is assigned to uh, VLAN 30. Right. We will verify that here in this topology. Uh, switch 1 fast Ethernet 0 slash 11 yes it's it's coming to PC 1 VLAN 10 and uh, we can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 yes it's assigned to uh, VLAN 30 it's correct now we will uh, check the trunk uh, on S1 uh, here we can see this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 which is connecting to this router uh, it should be a trunk port right we will verify that show interfaces trunk so that we can see the trunks oh there is no trunk configured right so we will give a show running config and we will go to this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see the mode switch port mode is access so this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 should be a trunk so this is the one mistake or uh, the misconfiguration done here Yes, here we documented the problem and the solution. So interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on S1 is configured as an access port instead of trunk port. So the solution is uh, use the command uh, switch port mode trunk. 
uh, on this S1 to change the interface from access mode to trunk mode. Now we will come to the router and we, uh, we will verify the configurations. We will check the interfaces uh, status. Uh, so we have to give a show IP interface. Oops, right, brief. And here we can see the details. Here we have the sub interfaces. Uh, Gigabit Ethernet uh, 0 slash 1.10 sub interface. IP address is configured correctly. And okay, method manual status. Oh, here we can see status is administratively down, protocol also down. So we must uh, up this interface. This is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.10. Yes, here itself we got one issue. And then the next interface, the next sub interface, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.30. Uh, its IP address is correct 172.17.30.1 and uh, its status and protocol is up right coming to the documentation part uh, here the problem identified is the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 physical interface up but the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 dot 10 sub interface is administratively down so the solution is uh, we must give the no shutdown command to enable uh, this uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.10 sub interface exactly now we will give a show running config and we will come to the sub interfaces yes, here we can see that uh, here is interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.10 uh, sub interface and here we can see the VLAN is assigned encapsulation dot 1Q30. Oh, here we can see it should be 10, not 30. Uh, yes. So, and also here we can see interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 dot 30 encapsulation dot 1Q is 10. So, here we can see the VLAN assigned uh, incorrectly. So, we must interchange uh, this uh, VLAN. Coming to the documentation part, here the problem is a sub interface. VLAN assignments are switched on R1. Yes, so we must interchange that. So here the solution is issue the no encapsulation dot 1Q command to, to remove the incorrect configuration. Then configure the sub interfaces with the correct uh, encapsulation dot 1Q command. Yes, so these are the some of the problems uh, what we observed uh, in our uh, uh, topology now we will come to uh, part 2 implement the solutions uh, make changes according to your uh, recommended solutions yes so here is our uh, problems and its uh, solution and we will implement this now we have seen our uh, first problem PC3 is configured with the wrong default gateway address so now first of all we will change this uh, uh, PC3 default gateway uh, from 10.1230.1 correct okay we will come to the topology PC3 here we are going to change the default gateway from 10.1230.1 right now we will come to our uh, second problem Interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on S1 is configured as an access port instead of trunk port. So we must uh, make this uh, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 as trunk port giving the command switch port mode trunk. Right, we will do this configuration. Coming to S1, CLI, right, we have to go to that particular interface. So enable configure terminal. And we have to go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet to 0 slash 1 and we are going to give a switch port mode as a trunk exactly now we will uh, go to our next problem uh, the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 physical interface is up but gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.10 sub interface is administratively down so we must uh, enable this uh, sub interface using the no shutdown command Yes, we will go to the router. We have to go to that particular sub interfaces. So configure terminal interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1.10. And here we have to give the no shut command. Yes. Coming to the last problem, a sub interface VLAN assignments are switched on R1. 
so we must correct it using uh, first we have to remove that you no know, encapsulation dot one q and then we have to correct it using uh, here we can see that encapsulation dot one q and we have to specify the correct vlan number right we will do this now yes so right now we are uh, on gigabit authority zero slash one dot ten sub interface so here we will uh, remove that no encapsulation dot one q and now we will go to the interface uh, gigabit authority to zero slash uh, one dot thirty and we will give no encapsulation dot one q right then we will uh, assign it correctly uh, we will assign on 1.30 sub interface so, so we can give a encapsulation dot 1q30 and now we will go to 1.10 so here we can go directly gigabit authority to 0 slash 1.10 oh we must give the interface okay right interface gigabit authority to 0 slash 1.10 and here we are going to give encapsulation dot one q ten yes now we will verify the changes so first of all we check on router show running config and we will come to the sub interfaces yes here we can see that yes now it's correct we will check on uh, s1 that is uh, the trunk so show interface uh, trunk yes here we can see that gigabit third zero slash one is uh, trunking also we will uh, check the status of uh, uh, the sub interface uh, gigabit third zero slash one dot ten show ip interface brief and here we can see that yes now it's up but here we can notice that when we given uh, i mean when we remove the wrong VLAN, here we can see the IP address is also removed, shows unassigned on both sub interfaces. Not here, we can, here we can see that IP address is uh, removed, so we must assign the correct IP address for these uh, sub interfaces. Yes, we will do that. We will go to the sub interface, uh, configure terminal. Uh, interface gigabit third zero slash one dot ten and here we will assign the ip address right here is the address and the subnet uh, mask is 255.255.255.0 and now we will go to the interface gigabit third zero slash one dot thirty sub interface and we will assign the IP address here it is uh, 30.1 right yes now we will check the status here show IP interface brief yes here we can see that it's ready in our documentation part also we are going to uh, in our solution part we are going to add this uh, re-enter the correct IP address information right now we will come to uh, part 3 verify network connectivity verify the PC scan ping other PCs and R1 if not continue to troubleshoot until the pings are successful right we will uh, check this we will come to PC 3 and we will ping to PC 1 coming to command prompt we will ping to 172.17.10 10 yes we are getting the replay we will uh, ping to the router also 10.1 yes we are getting the replay we'll ping to 30.1 yes we are getting the replay here they given the suggested scoring Packet Tracer scores 60 points. Uh, completing the documentation table is worth 40 points. Here we can see that completion status is 60 out of 60. Well, in this video, we have seen a troubleshooting inter VLAN routing. So, friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. 
so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you